Howdy everyone, uh, Graz here from the GKBC. This is Christmas Eve, 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 Eve. I'm kidding. It's Christmas Eve, the 24th. It's about quarter after 10 at night, Eastern Standard Time. So we are um, heading in towards Christmas Day. Uh, and I'm here to do Vlogmas Day 24. I have missed a few days here and there, but it's okay. I had fun with it. So, today, I am going to give you, I've been challenged, um, the doctor first challenged Wicked Pluto to do her top 10 favorite Beatles songs, and Wicked Pluto did that, and then Pluto challenged the doctor to do hers, and the doctor did that, and then the doctor challenged me to do mine, so that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to give you my top 12 favorite Beatles, favorite Beatles songs. They will be in order up to number one. If you hear any rooting around, uh, Logan the puppy is right there chewing on some stuff. Don't chew my stuff. Don't chew, Ringo. <laughs> and uh, the doctor isn't appreciative. Um, so I'm just going to get into this. I don't know how long this is going to be. I don't know how, how what I'm going to say about each of these. Uh... I don't know. We'll just play this by ear. Sound good? Good. So here's my top 12 favorite, personal favorite Beatles songs. At number 14, Polythene Pan. I know it's a short, really short one. I just, I love the and then the lyrics are hard driving and they're funny. Um, she's so good looking, but she looks like a man, and she's attractively built. So, that's number 14. Number 13, Babies in Black. I don't know, it's just something about the, the, the music and the, oh dear, what can I say or do? And it just kind of makes me do this, which I like. <clears throat> so, number 12, <clears throat> sorry. Strawberry Fields Forever. Um, the lyrics are nuts. They're deep. And just give me all the cranberry sauce. Number 11, Here Comes the Sun. I, 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 I also feel that any top Beatles list wouldn't be complete without Here Comes the Sun. It's uplifting, it's beautiful, it's happy. It's almost got a melancholic feel to it behind, you know, behind the music, if you listen hard enough. I like it. Anyway, number 10, Happiness is a Warm Gun. Uh, <clears throat> the Lust from John DeYoko. I know the rest of the world couldn't really understand it, couldn't really fit figure out what he saw in her. Maybe maybe you couldn't see what she saw in him. Who knows? But it's good enough for me because they loved each other and hey, in my opinion, John Lennon is the best Beatle. I'm a John fanboy. Uh, I think he's one of the most creative, famous people who has ever lived. And if Yoko was creative enough for John Lennon and beautiful enough for John Lennon and that's good enough for me. And this song is all about that because when I feel my finger on your trigger. Number nine. Uh, it's time to go to France and down by the Seine. Honeymooning eating chocolate cake in our in our beds for a week. It is the ballad of John and Yoko. Um I don't know, I just kind of I like the songs that John sings about him and Yoko because it's a good it's a decent love story. I know that he gave that interview where he beats wives and stuff. I don't know, he must have done something right by her if she's remained loyal to him since 1980. 
I mean, that, 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 that's, that's kind of impressive of a love story. Uh, and if you feel differently, you can tell me, but let's try to keep the hate to a minimum. Tell me respectfully. The Ballad of John and Yoko, I just love it. It's a, the story about them and their honeymoon and stuff. It's great. Number eight, Rocky Raccoon. For a while, this was a song, one of those few songs that I could just start going and I could sing the whole thing without listening to it or hearing the music. Uh, it's a cool little western, you know. And for a long time, I, I went to used bookstores trying to find... The camera just moved because the dog's bumping into it. Um, I went to used bookstores trying to find a Gideon Bible. Am I still in the thing? Because he, he bumped it hard. Yeah, you're still in it. Okay. Um, but yeah, somewhere in the Black Mountain Hills, out in Dakota, there's a young boy named Rocky Raccoon. And we have a Gideon Bible now. Yeah, now we have one, so that's pretty cool. Um, I just like the story it tells, you know? I mean, Rocky goes to all that, tr all that work and all that trouble to get his revenge and loses. Kind of like real life, you know, you don't always get your revenge, you don't always get your satisfaction. So, uh, number seven, I'm slamming through this, it's okay. Number seven, we have Norwegian Wood, another John Beauty. Um, this one sounds like a one night stand. Uh, I kind of, I don't know, it's just, this has always been one of the prettier ones for me. You know, and um, I just, I don't have a whole lot to say about it. I just really like it. I like the melody. I like the lyrics. I like songs that I can just kind of sing mindlessly along with. So, number six is If I Fell. <clears throat> this is actually probably the only song of mine, my top 14, that you're going to get from the shallow end of uh, Beatles fandom. Um, from that, from the earlier stuff. I think it's in The Hard Day's Night, the movie. Uh, if I fell in love with you, would you promise to be true? I mean, it's, it's sappy, but there's just something about it. It's, I like it. And it, it's another, um, I'm, I'm almost positive right now. I didn't look it up and I don't, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's John. Uh, I'm a, like I said, I like a lot of the John songs. Number five is like a mantra for me. Um, I'm so tired. Uh, you just put this on when you're having a bad day or when, you, when you've had a, a string of bad days and you just let it rip. Give you everything I got for a little peace of mind. It's just... I would, I'll give you everything I've got for a little peace of mind. And, and I, I, I just feel that in here so much. And I know I'm not alone on that, but um, for a long time it felt like I might be. Uh, so, and that's bringing it back up from a previous video. That's a good reason why I'm going to therapy now try to get some of that out of the brain and realize that maybe I'm not as isolated as I think. But that's my number five. Number four is completely and 100% dedicated to AJ. It's I've Just Seen a Face. And I know I'm kind of singing each of the, a little bit of each of these and I hope that doesn't annoy people because I can't sing for beans. Um, I'd probably be even below Pete Best if we were allowed to sing on an album. But I've just seen a face I can't forget the time or place where we just met. She's just the girl for me and I want all the world to see we've met. <laughs> it's just all about knowing when you see somebody. Knowing that you, 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 you've made it home. And uh... 
that you finally found the reason that you've been struggling through life. It's this person and the relationship that you're going to have. And that would be AJ. Number three might get me a dirty look from behind the camera. For no one. Um, I remember when I was in uh, middle school and my mom and dad were gone and I was jamming to my dad's records. Yes, that's how old I am. Records. I'm not quite old enough to have been jamming to eight tracks, but records. Um, just moving into cassette tapes. And I was listening to the Beatles because th that's what we had the most of. It was either Beatles or 50s pop or ACDC. My mom was into ACDC and I wasn't quite there yet. So I was listening to the Beatles and I was listening to it for no one. And it was the first time that I'd ever heard it. And I, I for, for a, most of my life, I thought it was an oboe, but it's actually a French horn. And the first time that French horn kicks in you know, I was one, you know, when you listen to music, your records when you're alone, you're dancing and you're having a good time, right? Well, I was doing that and I was jamming along and that, that French horn started and I stopped and looked at the speakers. Just in awe of the noise, of the sound that was washing over me. And I knew from that moment that my music taste and appreciation of what I liked about music would never be the same. And honestly, from that moment on, this band has been my um, number one. Nobody else has even came close. I mean, for solo individual artists, Johnny Cash gets close. But overall, it's, it's the Beatles. And that French horn... <laughs> And then the doctor showed me a video where Paul's singing it and he's doing that with his mouth. He's like, French horn, and he... I love it. I like how that's the song that got us both into the Beatles the way we are now. Yeah. Well, that shows how powerful it can be. Okay, my top two. My top two. I know the doctor knows what number one is, but does she know what number two is? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> two of us. I love Two of Us. The opening, which is so random and weird, thanks, John. I Dig a Pygmy by Charles Haltry on the Deaf Aids. It's a Phase one, in which Doris gets her oats. Who knows? But it's got some lyrics in it that are just... Two of us standing solo, wearing raincoats in the sun. Well, you're wearing raincoats in the sun, for one, and there's two of you, but you're standing solo. And, and if you think about that, how many of us have, have, have had that and not, never really focused on it? Where you've, act, where you've been with another person, not necessarily being with them, but just like sharing a space with another person, whether intentionally or not, but you're all alone, you know? <laughs> Dog's dreaming. Are you okay, buddy? <laughs> but yeah, so I just, it just, it's one of those songs that just speaks to a, a heart and a, and, a, and a brain. And... It's okay, buddy. Will here. you wake him up, please? Here, come here. Go over in Grandpa's chair. I mean, seriously. Um, but anyway, I mean, he's making me lose my train of thought. <sighs> Obviously, you're a Rolling Stones fan. Um, but it just, it speaks to just that part of you where you could be surrounded even by family members and just feel so isolated and so alone. And it kind of almost lets you know that it's still going to be okay. <clears throat> so that's my number two. Number one is Blackbird. Uh, in all the years I've been listening to music, which is a while, and all the songs I've heard, 
which is a lot. I think that I've only heard one song that's prettier and more beautiful and strikes the chords of my heart more than Blackbird. Uh, what? Blue Bayou. It's in the, yeah, Blue Bayou by Linda Ronstadt. But Blackbird is not just my all-time favorite Beatles song. Now notice, Blue Bayou is the prettiest song. Blackbird is my favorite song, period. Everybody. And it's... It's hard to explain. It just... It's something that I really... I love the music. I love the lyrics. Um, you All your life, you've been waiting for this moment to be free. It's, it's beautiful. Um, but anyway, that's my top 12 plus 2 of uh, my, my favorite Beatles songs in order. Um, you know, I challenge any of you out there to, to do your top 10 favorite Beatles songs if you like the Beatles that much. Um, count the colors in your bedroom. Uh, you know, and I tried to keep it brief. Um, I said um a lot. Trying to articulate my words to how these songs make me feel. It's hard to do. Anybody that really thought, really knows music understands. It's hard to do. But anyway, that's my top Beatles songs for Vlogmas Day 24. Merry Christmas, everybody. And uh, I'll see you next time. Um, might be tomorrow. It's definitely going to be the next day for Harrow County. But until then, keep jamming.